Let's kick things off with the circulated 2003P Illinois Quarter from Coinas Collection, featuring numerous contact marks and one gigantic gouge on the forehead of the Washington. This coin is part of Statehood Quarter series that celebrated each of the 50 states with unique reverse design. The Illinois Quarter features an image of young Abraham Lincoln, the state's most famous resident, with a farm scene and Chicago skyline in the background. While this coin was minted in large quantities, about 225 million were produced at the Philadelphia Mint. Finding one in pristine condition can be challenging. Despite its relatively high mintage, a well-preserved 2003P Illinois Quarter can still hold some value to collectors. Look at this pristine superb gem, graded in Mint State 68. This Illinois State Quarter fetched over $300 at Great Collections Auction. Next, we have circulated and scratched 2001 the Rhode Island Quarter. This coin showcases the state's rich maritime history with an image of sailboat gliding through bay with a pale bridge in the background, the design created by engraver Thomas D. Rogers. Like the Illinois Quarter, this coin is made from the same copper nickel clad composition. The government produced about 447 million of these quarters, making it more common in comparison to other state quarters. The challenge lies in finding one in superb gem condition. A lightly circulated 2001D Rhode Island Quarter may not fetch a high premium, but remains a beloved piece for collectors who appreciate its intricate design and history it represents. This 2001D Rhode Island Quarter graded in Mint State 68 was sold for $431.20 with buyer's fee at Great Collections Auction. Finally, let's talk about this about uncirculated 2006P South Dakota quarter with crisply struck motifs, some preserved luster and overall better kept surfaces. This quarter celebrates the state's diverse natural and cultural heritage featuring design with Mount Rushmore, a ring-necked pheasant in flight and wheat stalks. Like the other state quarters, it shares the same copper nickel clad composition. The Philadelphia Mint struck about 265 million of these coins, making it less common than some earlier state quarters, but still widely available. In circulated condition, the 2000p South Dakota quarter is usually only worth its face value, but examples in Mint State or higher can be of interest to collectors, particularly if they exhibit strong details and sharp strike. According to PCGS, auction record was set in 2016 at Heritage Auctions as this MS68 graded gem ended up selling for $881.25. As you have seen, while of the statehood quarters may not be the rarest or most valuable coins out there, each one tells a story about the state it represents and offers a snapshot of American history. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about fascinating world of coins, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update from CoinUs. Thanks for watching, God's willing, see you in the next video.